and then also uh, we have uh, other political stakeholders right here. So both um, the MPP and NDC represented and the other political leanings right here in Botiano Park, where we are currently. Just in case you want to get interactive, you can always do so. We're live on TV3 Ghana. Please make sure you share the stream. Let us know also if you are a constituency of Botiano, English, and Manfro. Uh, let us know what you think about uh, the current edition we're having right here live, Community Manifesto. And as it is, I have to say, as I always do, uh, Cho boy, Cho boy, 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 boy. Yeah, so just charging, just charging the atmosphere for you. Ofan enya fe, my way, okay. Can care community manifesto. Nyaba we, nyaba respond. Okay, election command center. Ofan eh, one, two, three. Community manifesto. Community manifesto. Election command center. Bye. 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 <laughs> well, let me pay homage to some a great friend of mine, Adams. I'm told he's called Commando. Commando over the Nyala, Mike. Commando. Commando. Tomo. 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 Okay, Commando, what's your full name? Adams. Sir. Adams. Yes, please. Adams. Okay, so you're Adams. And then uh, let your team also. Oh, my oh, Okay, so let them introduce themselves. This one is one man, one mic. My name is Jeremy Akwami Obey. Yeah. Obey. Like normal Obey. Obey. Hey, Charlie. Saneba. Jonathan Ayanebetun, a.k.a. Fada. A.k.a. Fada. Fada. Okay, also introduce yourself from the other side. No, oh, wait. Okay, so let's use this mic. Hello. My name is Pesius Kwashi. Immediate past assemblyman of Nglishi, Amanfro. I'm also a chief. Oh, you're a chief. So you're a knee? I see. Chief? Chief? Knee? Aha, uh -huh, please. Yes, madam. All right, my name is Gifty, and I'm the, Devi, the deputy constituency union organizer. Okay, Gifty. All right. My name is Reverend John Boy Colley, assemblyman for Kukrobiti Electoral Area. All right. Os Osafo. Aha, uh -huh. so I also want the women to introduce themselves. So, starting with you, introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Esther Samoa. Esther Samoa. A proud citizen of Ghana and a proud area member. Area member. And I reside at Linksfold. Linksfold. Thank you. All right. So. Toboy! 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 Oh, yeah, 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 great, everybody. My name is Yakubo Donko, brand chairman, and I'm from uh, Unit Committee Chairman. All right, all right. So let me please introduce ourselves. I am, I am Charles Saiti Ama, the constituency organizer for BN MPP. MPP. Let let my sweet lady introduce herself. Oh, my name is Esther. My name is Esther Mangua. The constituency members. My yep. name is Esther Mankwa, the constituency women's organizer. Okay. All right. Okay. So so let's set Ofa na eh. Ofa na nyabotua, 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 nyabotua. Please. Please. No noise so from both sides of the political divide especially. I don't want you to be shouting at each other, okay? We need to hear what all of us want to say. And I think that it is important for those who are watching us at home or wherever they're watching us, whether on their devices, also on stream, across Facebook, etc., et also tend to uh, hear us. So let me start with you, Adams. Um, now, I know that for the constituency, the, because the governing party is in power, you have also in the reins the member of parliament, etc. Uh, when it comes to community development, what can you say has been done over the last couple of years? Well, um, Raylon, this is not something that we should even argue about. Okay. We the, were here before. You, you mean the question is a, is a non-starter? I mean, it's a non-starter <laughs> because when we are talking about project progress development, 
If you take an MPP, NDC can never come closer. Slife gets some few months, few years in office. I can list so many of the projects that you have done. You can see them from the from the artwork that we showed here. Look, an MP. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. An MP, an MP, an MP who have just been in power for three and a half years has built the biggest astroturf in the whole country. Today, Dream MC is coming to this constituency to come and play here. When you come to this constituency, let, there is free education. There is free education. There is free education. But there are people in this constituency. There is free education. But there are people, but there are people in this constituency that cannot still afford. The MP has a foresight. He has a foresight. He has constructed, he has constructed and completed a secondary school. And by the special grace of God, September this year, there is going to be admission in that secondary school. Number two, when you go to Okobite, MP has come and do the maternity ward, and it is the maternity ward is there to take care of people. When you just consider the road, when you look at the Ajasco road, all the way to West Osmo, the MP has come and has gone. You see, you see, they don't have any projects. When you call them for argument, they don't come. You call them for argument, they don't come. So they don't have any records. When it comes to development in this constituency, Slice name is a synonymous to development. His name is synonymous to project. His name is synonymous to progress. And there's nobody who can match this. I am telling you, Roland, before Slice came, there's a road from Ajasco here, connecting all the way from right up to the road side. And became less than three years in office, he has been able to construct that particular road. Now, when you go to Tuba, at the 111 hospital, when you go to Tuba today, Agenda 111 Hospital is ongoing in Tuba. When you also go to the same Tuba, there's a divisional police station ongoing in Tuba. You go to Tuba, there's a market project ongoing in Tuba. They should tell us their record. They don't have any record. They don't have a single record that they are keeping point. See, let me tell you something, my brother. Then became, there's only two community day schools we have in this constituency. One there, is Amman from. There are only two community. Two community secondary schools. Okay. One is in Amman from. One is in Christian Matedis, uh, Aquasa. The Adams, people from the this coastal your stretch. Look into the camera good, for good, me. Sorry. Uh, media, the if people, you look at me, you get. People will not see your me, face. Look at me. The people within the coastal stretch, the, most of them are unable to assess that particular school. Because the MP has foresight, he has vision, he thinks about the progress and the well being of the community. As we speak now, he has built from scratch and completed a school that this September, the people within this coastal stretch are going to get three secondary schools. What, what, what type of school is it? Is it the basic school? No, a complete senior so, high school. So we have a completed senior high school here. A completed here. senior high school that this September, your people went on, they, your people, they went around. They which lo which location is it? Just, uh, just, just back here. Oh, just around just just here, here. In this Montiano here. I will challenge them. When they come, they will mention just one project. One. That during the administration, during that so, incompetent bright, just one. So, so far, from do. what I've been hearing from you, among other projects, and I've seen the... A lot of them. Yeah, so the if we can see... If we, if we can see that, bring it, bring it, bring it, let them show. Yeah, so I, I see that you have a whole banner, and, and you are saying that this is even just. These are a few, few of our projects. Okay. So few of our projects. So, so look at it. No, okay. hey, bring it here, bring it, bring it inside, bring it inside. Let them see. Well done. Have you seen the project? Yes. I can just go yes. and mention them one by one to you. When I look at it, this is a Blanco toilet facility. This is all CA road. This is donation that we did. This is the tuba clinic. This is, this is a drainage that you have constructed. There's one point, there's one project. All one right. That be able so, to so I want you to sit down and I, I please bring the banner closer. Bring the banner, so bring that the banner closer. See. Please, bring it closer. All right. Bring the banner closer. So I, bring it closer. Bring it, bring okay. it. Okay, so I, I just want to see so that I, I can point. Yes. You also tell me that uh, apart, apart from school. Sport Club wishes to announce that it will be moving its home venue to the Tuba AstroTurf from 2024-2025 season. This is an AstroTurf, 1,000-seater capacity AstroTurf.
that the MP has built. Today, Kotoko will play in Batan in this Amavu. House of Oak will play in Batan in this Amavu. I challenge them. They should tell us their record, not a single one. So in every facet of development, from security, ed from education, from health, you have two minutes, wrap from up for me. From road construction, when the MP came, the total kilometer of road that we have in this constituency, only 12% was more trouble. As we speak now, he has moved it from 12% to 42%. So from 12% of unmotorable roads, we now have 42%. And the increase. magic is, and the magic is, is the drip that is coming. The drip. It's the drip that is coming. That the district road yes. improvement project. So you see, that has all, just been launched. All what you are saying is that Sylvester Tete has done enough as an MP. They are candidates. Don't have a single record that he can even boast on. The MP that, the MP, Bright, Bright that came, he cannot point a single project that he constructed. And I challenge them, they went around to go and take that Plaku Road. When you were coming, don't you see that the Plaku Road is under construction? That's an MP who has foresight. When you move that straight, you go towards here, you see a hospital there. That's an MP who has a foresight. So all what you are saying is that Honorable Sylvester Martin Tete, his name, his name is synonymous to projects his name is synonymous to progress. His name is synonymous to infrastructure. And I challenge them. They should just mention one single project that they have done. They don't have any of them. They should just get up and leave here. Thank Let you, me, Adams, a.k.a. Commando. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. Now, this. It also means that. So, so the question, so the, Natasha, 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 Natasha. Roland, I am waiting for your question. Roland, I'm waiting for your question. Because, Roland, I heard you talking about roads. MPP has been in office for over for eight years. They have been in office for eight years. And all the projects they are talking about is uncompleted. They have never completed even relax. a single project relax, relax, for eight relax, years. Relax, relax, relax. So, what are you talking about, roads? We will so, talk about it. So, so the question. So, so that that. They are not allowing us to talk. So let me talk. So, so, so the question I put to you is that they. So they have, they have enumerated projects that have been done. Among them, roads that have been taken from 12 motorable roads to 42% motorable roads. They also mention about an astroturf that has been completed. There's a secondary school that has been constructed under this government as a result of that. They think that, well, your side of the political divide has no business even coming to the context in the first place. What do you think? Talking about road, yes, road is the number one priority of this constituency and even the Gasat Municipal Assembly. Why? Nesha Manfro is the capital of the Gasat Municipal Assembly and also the capital of uh, Botan and Nesha Manfro constituency. Talking about roads, they should tell us one kilometer of road that they have completed. I just go with it. That know. they have completed. Uh, Adams, it's not your, yet your turn, so relax. That they have completed. Road. When MD, MP, MDC was in power, this road from Kokrobite Junction, R to Tuba, it is MDC which completed this road. If you go to Amman from the capital, we have only three kilometers of road. It is MDC who constructed the road and then 
uh, and then tar the road. Now, all the roads you see, it is NDC. So if they are talking about Ajasco Road, Ajasco Road is not NPP. It is the factory. There is a factory there, the food, the Chinese factory. They constructed the road. It is not NPP that constructed the road. That is why. So you are saying the, roads there, the road where? Ajasco. Don't break the chair, please. Relax. The Ajasco Road. Yes, it is. It is a it Sonda. Is not, it is not a government road. It is not a government it road. Is a it is Sonda. The factories. There are factories there. They constructed the Ajasco Road. He's talking about Akwasa. Go to Akwasa today. Some of the roads are like Galamse Pits. Go there. I'll show you. Some of the roads at that place. They are like Galamse Pits. If they are talking about projects, then they should show at the project. If you mention two secondary schools, community secondary schools. Who built those two secondary schools? Who built Nation for secondary school? Christian Methodist so, Meta has been in existence. Decades. Are you saying it that came here. Two, one of the two secondary schools, one is Cream Metal? Cream Metal. Okay. And it's like Kufo built Cream Metal. What a lie. Now, the Amman for secondary school has been in existence for over three decades. It is NBC. Who, who put up that, that secondary school. So you cannot tell me that they, they built it. So so on the screen now when you is go the to secondary Amanfo. school. So which secondary school is this? This is this is the Botiano Senior High School. Stand this is the uncompleted one they, are, they say they are doing. So this one is uncompleted. Eight years. They cannot complete it. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. You have not completed it. So this school is ongoing now. It's ongoing. Eight years. Now, go to Amafro. The schools. There is a community library at Amafro. Who built it? Amafro Rose. Who built it? Wait. The, so they came in eight years, and all you see is uncompleted. What do you mean by that? There's uh, a project that has been shown to you it's on the screen. Eight Life. years, uncompleted. Okay. For eight years, so that's you have been secondary school. You have been finished. Eight I'm years, uncompleted. There is no road that NDC started and didn't complete. All the roads we started, we have completed it. Every project we started, we have completed it. You have been in existence for eight years. Most of the roads, we, we told the former MP, Alaji Abim Saad, they cannot even, even catch sword. Go to our roads, check all the roads. That is the, that's the essential roads that we want. Okay, I so let me, let me ask you this. Essentially, do you agree that there's an astro that has been constructed here in the constituency? There's an astro okay. Do you Tiba. agree that there's a school that is ongoing? This is, yes, it's ongoing. It's ongoing. Yes. Okay. Your argument is that why should they take eight years to build a school? But there, there's a school that's ongoing. Eight years. If to you build say, it. if you say the roads, if you say the roads, the roads in the constituency, in many areas, in many areas. If you say that in many areas there are bad roads, which areas are they? We have six electoral areas. We have six electoral areas. We have six electoral areas. Electoral areas. We have Galilea. We have Amanfu. We have Akwasa. Botiano. And then Kokwebite. I tell you. I tell you. Kokwebite electoral area. From Kokobite to Lanma, car cannot access the road. Car cannot access that road from Kokobite to Lanma. You have to use the motorbike before you get so, to Lanma. So that road is which road? Yes. Yes. Is it the main road? This I, don't, I don't know this road. This may not be in this country. Have you seen a construction going there? Which road is this? Have you seen a construction going there? Which road? Okay, so name the areas that you say the road is I, bad. I have mentioned from even just here. 
from Kokobito to Langa. Cars cannot assess it. I'm on flow. Please, I'm you have two minutes. End for I'm me. On flow. I'm on flow. From, I'm on flow to Sudan. You cannot assess it. Akwasa, there is no road. You cannot go to the accessible areas. Even Botiara here. The only road you see is this one. You cannot enter into the link roads. Well, even Botiara here. Go to Galilea. From Galilea Junction to Miami. You cannot. Well, the roads there. Your car cannot go there. From uh, Galilea to. From Galilea. Okay. Going to Miami. Oh, oh, oh. Miami. The roads there. The roads there. The, the, there's a place called Omega. That place, roads, cars cannot access unless you see motorbike. In, in the capital of Accra, there are roads that cars cannot access. All right, now coming back to you, Roland. you want to rebut to some of the things it's because I, I, let me let let, let, me, let me give the mic to the lady. No, I, I'll handle everything. No, 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 you cannot handle, handle it. It's a, let, it's let a fair participation. I've, oh, I've seen, I've seen Fada, I've seen Roland, Roland, Roland. Let me just rebut to Monty. No, no, no. That, that, let the lady to have the when point. you go to my home. The Mayim that he's speaking about. When you speak, the others will not speak. No That's problem. the point. No problem. When you go to Mahim, when you go to Mahim, just take a trip there. The MP has built an ultra modern community center. That's that this man sitting there. This man sitting there. He did his he did his outdoor in there. This man. This man. He did his outdoor in, in that community center. The, the man this even did his outdoor in the community center. My last one is in a project is sponsored by the MPD. You, you are lying. Hold well on. Listen you to are me. lying. My last one is for the Your camera guys went round. Tell them. Me, sometimes we don't want to speak. I shall We wait. have limited this conversation to just the four years. We didn't even do eight years. If we want to go the eight years, I am not sure they will have the cat seat no, you, you, to even sit here. You, you, you have the chance. No, yes. You don't limit no. yourself. Nobody has limited Hold you. On. I want to limit myself to the four years okay. of the MP. I just didn't want to limit myself to the four years of the MP. Today, when you go to Akwasa, where is it referring to? You know where Asamoetan used to live? Those times, cars cannot go there. Today, the chairman lives there. The MP has constructed that road and it's completed. Roland, listen to me. Roland, see. Roland, see, I said, I'm making it. And now, see me. And now, he's here talking about, he's here talking about the same Akwasa. There's a place you call Babadogo. When you go to Babadogo today, when, when you go to Babadogo today, the MP has constructed the biggest village so that have a record. We have always maintained, we have always maintained that this election is about records. It is the records that we are going to speak about. They should tell us their records. Because they don't have any record, that's what they are doing. Me alone, I can get look all the projects that you have done with or without the MP. That is why we are saying that the people should continue to vote for Honorable Sylvester Tucker. This is the first time, this is the first time Roland ever seen this constituency was created. This is the first time an MP has been appointed as a Deputy Minister of Information. They should tell us, they should tell us, yes, they don't have any record. They don't have any record. They don't have any record. Because they don't have any record, they'll just be shouting. They'll just be shouting. We will speak on our records. We are we will speak on our records. When we speak on our records, I will finish. We will leave Look, the people are shouting. This place has been standing. I'm telling you. This people are strong. But you see, that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. They perform badly. You see, they are unable. You see, that they are unable to bring anybody here. This is a party. This is the MPP. The new patriotic party. Our name is synonymous to project. I said, and the MC, Honorable Sylvester Matuta, is uncompleted. So well. Everything is continue to be well. They are candidates because they don't have any record. You see, their candidate cannot come. This is an MP who can defend his record. You see, they are candidates. They are candidates. The one that they voted for. Where is he? Ask me where you are. You have two candidate. minutes, right? My, my candidate. Well, I'm I'm MP. Well, I'm listen to me, my candidate. My candidate MP is not minister. Well done. If you are if minister, you, are the you should have done more than what you are saying. Talk about a minister, listen a to minister me. should not have a quality to tell me. Tell me. You have two any, minutes, please. If you have any record.
Roll. Roland. 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 I think the gentleman has Their candidates should have been here yeah, to defend the record. But because they don't have any record, you don't have you don't any record. Who come to you? There's no record. Why do you come to you? So that's what we are saying. Because the MP has done so well, he's here to defend his record. He doesn't have anything to show. He doesn't have anything to show. He doesn't have anything to show. So that's why it's all coming. lies. So these people are don't lies. They are just making noise. By no. the time we free this election, the is we will meet them and they will tell us we have stolen this matter. They don't have any record to show. They don't have any record. That is why. By the, time, by the time you finish, by the time we free this so election, far you've indicated with record. Thank you very much. Record. Let's tell us your record. Bro, bro, right. thank you. Thank you. I overheard you say, the gentleman said that. The MP is synonymous to what? Development. Well, let, let the MP is simply synonymous to scam. The Deputy Minister the MP of is simply well. Welcome. synonymous Thank you, to scam. Roland. Scam in the sense that if you say there's a senior school in Pontiano, where is the senior school? We are talking of a school where children are there and one class is about 120. Now, if you have 120 people in the school, the primary school, what is your business building a senior school in the same compound? We are talking of a school where the whole of our Kwasa come to school in Botiano. And if you want to have secondary school in Botiano, then it means that you have to, hello, hello, then it means that you have to relocate these children to a better place, then you can use that place for a secondary school. We are talking of an MP, when this school is to be finished, he stopped the project and the project has never seen a day of life. Look, Ro. I want your attention here. I am saying that the gentleman said that MP is synonymous to what? Developing. It's simply a synonymous for what? Scam. Scam in the sense that the senior school they are talking about is not there. Ask them what it takes before you have a senior school in the community. And check that from them if it's there. What you are talking about, that school over there is simply an expansion of which the NDC has done. Go to a, a, a cluster of schools. We have a project there for you. This road, we did it. It passes here every day. No, but, but this road. It passes here every day, they're starting. He promised the people of, he promised the people of no. Chokombe that sit before down, they go down, to sit him, down, he's going to go down. straight that road. Ask him whether he's done the road. Sit down, sit down. Go to, go to so, Oshie. So let's talk go to about this road. There's a gas farm project there. It's abandoned. Ask him what picture is there. The iron roads, the iron roads you are talking about, you cannot. Take a photo of an iron rod and call it development. When you go to Oshie, the project is talking about, he didn't do that. The Astrotef is talking about, he was simply a CEO, but it was started by another MP. You understand? No. He's talking about the market. Who can they solve for that market? All our lies. Listen, we are not prepared to go and put this in picture, but we have enough that we can roll out to you. And so, and so, go to my MD that they are talking about, Galilea. If you go to Galilea today, our projects are telling. The community center they are talking about is not true. Listen. Oh, Listen. The gentleman you are seeing here is already rejected. This is the man. This is the man. This is the man to liberate the people of the English man from. And so what he's doing here. Incoming MP alone announces a new MP to Potato English and Bamfro constituency. Okay, his presence here alone, the informer tells you that his Potato English and Bamfro right? So the the coming in of a new MP who listens, who is respectful, who knows how to lobby for the communities, who knows the tenants of the constituency because he was born. Bread here, he's got his everything here. Listen, 
the, 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 the man contesting us today does not live with us. You have a minute. He came to patch with us. And he's eating from what, what we have built. And so we are giving it this time around to somebody who will walk our walk and talk our talk and make sure that the development of the English man from needs come to reality, not fake. All right, thank you. So now we have Felix Okli, right? Who is the parliamentary candidate for the NDC also here. And then we have Sylvester Teta. He's a well-known figure nationally as well, Deputy Minister of Information, and the two of you are here. It looks like what had been done by way of the arrangement, we have to limit the discussion to do, but we'll try and accommodate everybody as well. Now, can I have some, can I have some presence? Can I have some presence? Oh, okay, so some silence here will do. Some silence here will do. Let's have some silence so that we, we put all the matters into perspective. Let's have some silence and then we can move on. No silence, we're not moving on. Let's have silence and then we can move on. Let's have silence from both sides. All right. Now, Mr. Sylvester Tete, for you, how do you think development has found out, has found, has panned out over the last couple of years for you in terms of you not only being the member of parliament, even under the, your previous colleague for you, and do you think that would be an enough record that could stand between the NDC and the other parties wrestling the MP ship from you? Well, uh, thank you very much. Let me say a very good morning to our viewers and to our constituents who are here to listen to us. Of course, let me also thank uh, Media General and TV3 for that matter and for your good self. Roland, you are not new to this constituency. In the run-up for me to become an MP in this constituency, the things we are talking about here were the main challenges, so you should ask me, what have I done about all these things that I'm talking about here today? Roland, the difficulty in this constituency, like many other places, is the infrastructure challenge that we have here. In this constituency, we have over 1,200 kilometer stretch of roads. Before I became a member of parliament in this constituency, the total road network tied in this constituency is less than 2%, including the highway. Your Since I came, I brought the road minister. 12. Your colleague said 12. 12 kilometers. It your, is, the total kilometers start. No, he said 12%. That's it, 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 please, it's less. It's about 1.2 kilometers. So get that, including the highway okay. here today. Roland, as I sit here today, in my three years and eight months as a member of parliament in this constituency. Through my effort, the roads that I'm talking about, the roads that I'm talking about are roads that you can visibly see. I'll show you documentation when it started, when it's been lobbied for. The under the former road minister, I brought him here for four and a half hours. The store of this constituency led to 38.2 kilometers of roads approved for this constituency. And let me mention those roads to you. From Ajasco Junction all the way to the West Hills Mall, a total of 6.2 kilometers. As I speak to you, a total of 2.2 kilometers has been asphalted. The remaining 4.0 kilometers, the remaining 4.0 kilometers from Ajasco Junction to the West Hills Mall is under construction. You can go there today. They don't even know the constituency. When you go, this stretch of road that we are talking about here, I will show you documentation that show sexual the road, part of this road. Show the road, no documentation. Last year, Roland, you road, made a story the road, about the road, a plaque no the Kasua market. To the extent that the road was divided into two. You were at Today you came from a plaque. You realize that the major the storm, the storm the drains road. has been done at a plaque. When you get to King's University, the sectional road has been fixed. So from Old Barrier to Kokro Bite, a total of 13.2 kilometers has been awarded to two contractors. You can see the sectional roads being done today. All these things are done my three years, eight months as a member of parliament. Again, when you go to Fulani Junction, all the way to uh, Red Top, it's been constructed, as I speak to you, a total of 7.2 kilometers of roads under construction today. 
when you go to the West End University, all the way to Kuwait to Tuba, that stretch of road about eight kilometers, the drains has been completed, earthworks have been done today, that road will be constructed. These are personal effort of me you as a, a minute, member sir. of parliament. Again, when you come to education in this constituency, when I was coming, the cry of the youth of Botiano, the cry of the chiefs, the cry of everybody, that the entire coastal stretch, we don't have a secondary school. The two secondary schools we have here are in New Botiano and Amanfum. I consulted the chiefs and the youth of this constituency. We don't have a single parcel of land for a new school. There's a big school. I went to Ghana you have National College. You have a minute. I went to Ghana National College. Ghana National College started from the bedroom of one man. I'm starting a secondary school in September. There will be admission in Botiano. What's the, name, what's the name of the secondary school? Botiano Day Secondary School. And it's a new one you have built. There's a have, new one I've built. Under you see, the one you have seen. Newly built. In, in September. September, there will be admission for Botiano right, Day Secondary we'll School. We'll talk about the other as well. Now, Mr. O'Clay. Mr. Is this a completed school? The, the argument by your opponent, who is where he went to school in his home, is that compared that to this one, he did. Is that what Botano deserves? He did an assessment, and based on that assessment, he has provided and continues to provide needs based on the assessment that has been done for the citizens of Botano, English, and Manfro. What do you think could be your counter strategy? based on what you're also picking on the ground, based on the research you've done, that is showing that more needs to be done than what has been done by your opponent, who is the incumbent in office. Thank you very much. Let me take the opportunity to say good morning to my constituents, especially the NBC folks. And let me also thank you very much for this golden opportunity given us. It is very, very good that you are here today, at least to showcase to the whole world the lies that has been, been going on in this constituency. It is always said that it is easier said than done. I believe when you are coming, you use roads to come this, to this place. If the roads are more trouble, you might have seen it. All that they are saying, I believe it is a Photoshop that they are doing. It's a Photoshop. You are saying we, that all he said We NBC are Photoshop. It's a Photoshop they are doing. Sir, sir, you have your time. Mr. 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 Tata, the evidence. We, no, continue, sir. When you, when you speak into the mic, it will go. Please continue. When I, was, when, I, when I was coming, I heard them say that they have constructed a road from Ajasco. Ajasco. If you challenge me, we can go to Ajasco today. As we sit here, we can go to Ajasco from here and witness it to ourselves that if that road has been done. Those from roads here to done, Ajasco. From here to Ajasco. If those roads have been done, he spoke about from Barrier to Apraku. You came, you passed through that road and you saw exactly what the road, the state of that road too. You saw exactly the state of that road. If it has been done, it is not me who will sit here and tell you. They said, those words that he said he has done, the project should speak for itself. I'm telling you, I sit here to tell you that all those things he said he has done, he has done less Is that the Ajasco Road? Yes. The, no, the Ajasco Road. And again, and again, I'm here to tell you that the people of Bote Anna in the English Amanfo are here to witness or to attest to the lies that he keep on peddling. He has done nothing. He came to since he came to power. Nothing that he has done. We cannot see any project work. He spoke about roads. Those roads he spoke about has already been done by NDC have you during our era. We so, 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 so let's stay on the roads. We'll spend three minutes and then we'll go back. So you mentioned this stretch to Ajasco. Which other areas do you think need asphalting or construction? You could see, you could see, you could see how our people are fighting for. They are yearning for change because 
the president. Because the president and the MP has done nothing. It looks like. It actually looks like. We continue to okay, that's our friend. We that's our friend. We are not nobody. We are not Ghanaians. But we are also Ghanaians and we have to have the first share of the Ghanaians cake. We have to have our first share. When you look at the road that he said he has done, I'm a pro. When we go, and this, it was during the era of NDC that we constructed Amafro to top town. It is NDC that constructed from Baria to Tuba, from Tuba to Nenyano, from Nenyano to Tuba Genshi. All these roads were constructed by NDC. You could see how the people are suffering because the man or the MP here has done nothing to help the cause of the people over here. All right, Roland. So, you so, see the caliber of person we are dealing with. He's saying that. L let's not attack personalities. No, it's not personality. For him to say that all the things we are seeing, they are Photoshop. Yeah, he it said tells that. you who he is. If he lives here and he knows this constituency, he will know that until the Ajasco Road was started, nobody could access that road to the place I'm talking about. When you live here, I've told you. 2.2 kilometers of that road has been asphalted. The remaining four kilometers is what we are seeing now. So the second rescue is so, in so, so, so let me plead with you. Um, we have uh, some roads where we have, I think it's under construction. So they've they've tipped uh, various yes, tippers of yes. sand. They've tipped we sand are on. doing some. It's on which, which stretches of road are under construction? The stretch of road that are under construction is this road. 13 kilometers from Old Barrier all the way to Kokro Bite. When you were coming, when you get to King's University, you realize that we are doing sectional repairs to put the bitumen on it. It's been done today. I'm not saying it's been done. It's under construction, you can see. I told you of Aplaku. Aplaku yeah, we saw, we saw some You saw the, the right, roadways yes. over there in Aplaku. Yes. The Ajasco Road, I've told you. When you go to Fuladu to Red Top, it's under construction. When you go to West End University, all the way. When you go to Amman from, it is the MPP administration and when I came, that we've asphalted Amman from. When you go to New Botiano, the asphalt there, we have done it. When you go to, when you go to Sedel, Retop, Babadogo, all these places, road is under construction. So it is not about the noise, it's about the reality on the ground. This one, you cannot contest it. If you like, let your cameraman follow me in this constituency. I will show you road by road, work by work, ongoing. So, right. so, so, so we were on education. We are on education. So, so you, you are going to open a new school in, in, September. in September. In September. Okay. There will be admission in Botiano Secondary School. Roland, let me tell you something. In this constituency, in Botiano, OCA, Kokrobite, because the schools here are their schools, the children here cannot pay transportation to go to Amman from or New Botiano. This day secondary school here, there are people who have completed school in two years, three years who are homes. They will be enrolled in this school to have education. The chiefs of this community, the youth of this community are happy about this project and it will be delivered to them. When you go to Langba, the school Langba. is Langba. The school is full. I'm building a new a, a new three unit classroom block for JSS. When you go to broadcasting area, broadcasting area. area in Aquasa Electra area, there's no public basic school there. Today, I'm putting up 12 unit classroom block, including kindergarten for people in broadcasting area. So today, when you go to Amal from Brigade, we are going to construct a Amal new from Brigade. Brigade. We are going to construct a new TVET school in that place to begin. There's going to be a construction of a TVET school. A new TVET school in, Amanfo in this Brigade. Amanfo Brigade. So I tell you, all these things I'm saying, come back, I'll take you there, you see all these things. I'm not lying about any of these things. All right. So let me give two minutes. Let me give two minutes, uh, two minutes, and then use a third minute to wrap up on your intention for the constituency. What, what are your intentions for the constituency? It is easier said than done. He said he has done all these roads, but I'm telling you on the fact that I'm telling you on the fact that it is all lie. All we were expecting, we were expecting that when he was elected to power, the the, the project that NDC we were NDC we were doing, 
We thought he was going to continue those roads, but rather he came to abandon all road, these roads. We have a road from Chokome to Chokome Doji to Chokome. Go to that place today. That road has been abandoned. We have a project, basic school at FCA, that we since classroom schools that we construct with started. That road road has been constructed. And most of the project that he said he has done were all done by NBC era. When he says today that he has done something of that sort, it is never true. I'm here to tell you that it is never true. He spoke about Amanfor Road. That Amanfor Road was completed 2016. How come that he can tell us that he, he did it? Today he is here to, to tell us we will do this, we will do this. When he, he knows, when he knows that, when he knows that he is going out of power. When he said that he knows that he's going out of power, he will sit here. Now that he is telling us that he will do this, he will do this. Just three, three days ago, that he broke contractors to come and strike because of uh, 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 because of elections. He will deceive the people. It is very sad that you look into the people's eyes and think they are stupid or they are fool. But Tano English Shaman for today is telling him that enough is enough. We have given him the chance that we're supposed to give him. And they want a better person to come and continue the work that NDC left. I'm telling them that I'm promising them that whatever way that NDC, the good way that NDC started and we never finished and we were out of power. I'm here to continue when they left me or the vote for me to come to power. I'm going to do all those things for them. There's small hope for the future of Botano in this amount when you go out there, you realize that people have really lost hope. They are really lost hope. I'm telling them that I'm coming to instill hope into their future. Thank All you. right. So now we'll take some questions. Let's take some questions from you. Can we get a mic closer to them? So these are od ordinary, ordinary sure. residents. Okay, please. If you have sure. anything to yes, say, you can. Tell me you're not going to find your way. Hey, no quarrel by your way. Over the camp of my camp, if you're like a Tommy Emmanuel Kojo Ampofu, aka Kojo Gasco, a million formation center at Chukume, a no coni in Nayabia, a feminine, a quaker, Nimitama, you and my young Quasi and Oji, Yabia, Mini, Wabia, Kashi, Bame, Ameba, Jam, Jomoketon, Konuana, Nuanya, or Kon, what one or no for Tommy, Nuaba, Nuan, bro, if you're like a Nineke. Number two, Benimini, honorable slide, a UA, Wakani, the Niji, honorable, a cote au clé, a Fedi, ni a Boletue, a Biamini, a Bayue, a Tarantile, Nichoke, Yoka Bamia, no, Jamemo, in Nakolo Joba, no Jinsani, Akademi Yansani, a Denche Denche, Kamakaye, twenty sixteen, before then candidate, slide Tete, Ne, a Baba, a Batokome, Chokome Squami. A basua, a kakita, a kakale, a nyako, a sa to come in a road, Bernie John to come John Shin, Kaya Nuana, Kasakua, Kawana Locatale, Slide at a drone, Nakbenemu, Waka Foto Hale drone, Kaibasipiane, Afik Banyon, Noyana Bene, Miniha, Miniton Chilebe, Kabasipiane, Nenyako, a sacco to come over the map, back by Obi, okay, back. I go, Roland. You have two minutes, please. Two minutes. Roland, uh, today is my birthday, but I'm very sad. I'm very sad in the sense that the media eba English parliamentary candidates. I'm here. This is what I'm here. What a blow. Ni mi inkwe neke community watch ne nye pe inkwe mene e did the worst ni e experience kaje beni start neke program ne ni egbana one oba yue to the fact esanu oba yue no ko ni no no papa ona bo sla yue eko me yemi eko me ano kwali eko me je ano kwali eke secondary school botiano about in September. Yes. Why are you? I'm a secondary school. Why are you? I'm a secondary school. Yeah, but you know, she secondary school now, ma. 
Moko, a primary school, Podia, and you feel on my Jamie. Morita, my Jacket, Abana Cafe, vocational school. Abanyani, a cafe, Abanyani, a cafe, vocational school, Ebawa, where I feel one subject school. Sika, a secondary school, when you work in it, Botano, your Jimmy, in both votes, work at the nineteen ninety two. No, I don't know you President, a law, a MPC number, but I don't guess a month for constituency. Kakwesi, ke honorable Mepiaba, she won. Honorable Blight, honorable Blight, Eva Feko, Allah decide, La Weba Feko, Wapapa Sly, La Weba Feko, Shunu Wata on him, Mabia Jacket. But I don't roll the name of Miba. But I don't roll the name, but I don't roll the Nukonaka, I think. She, what could get your barrier? Kabako Klobite. 2016, no me afraid to go to Methodist. Because the Methodist is not my man, but I'm not going to go to Johnson. If you put it in chair, well, like a canyon money, a fifty year old. I've got a party book. Eight years, yeah, yeah, eight years. Party in the chair, well, in the chair, Mac, there. Taxi drivers in New York barrier. Taxi drivers in New York barrier. Each and every day, I'm a ball joint from your road there. Come in, Malia, or Papa, be a cow. Honorable <laughs> Every constituency, I may have one million dollars for every constituency. Nisane, Inuni, Baumia, a Yuaka, I may deliver on all the manifesto promises. My question to Honorable Slide We are into seven years into MPP's administration. Eight years. Eight years. Nitwaka. As I by this time, I want eight million dollars. All of us know what eight million dollars can do. Mean behind our boots like a portion of like eight million dollars. Say, you know, not you know, you can't get any be in your tongue. Can only know that you are going to go cry. Hey, what mean be what eight million dollars? Say, no, we'll be passionate about one constituency, one million dollars. Okay. Good morning. After this, I'll get some responses. Uh -huh. My name is Edmond. Um, Edmond, Eddie. I want to, yes. I want to ask the parliamentary candidate for the NDC that he should give me three policies or projects that his president and then their party left before they, they went into position. Okay. That every single Ghanaian home is benefiting from. I can boast of the indefatigable free SHS that even all their children here are enjoying. I can boast of ambulances that take care of them. I can boast of a lot of things. And then finally, I also want to ask him that the work of an MP is not to construct roads. An MP's work is a legislative work. We need people who understand the work to be in parliament, to enact laws for all of us here. And so I want to ask him if he understands the parliamentary work, if he understands legislative work, and his experience, and how best he can perform. Because I know that currently in parliament, Monrabo Silvestre Tete is one of the key stakeholders as far as legislation is concerned. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon. Good morning. I want to ask the NDC candidate. 2013, when his party was in power, we were all in this constituency when the former president, John Draman Mahama, came to New Botiano, specifically Dunkona, to commission a 10 billion Hope City project. To today, we've not seen a single block in the area. Again, until the coming of this MP, we didn't have Astotev in Tuba. If you come to Babadogo, there was no drainage. But today, we can see drainage there. If you come to, if you come to broadcasting, the road has been turned from the down to the last place. Again, if you come to Rima, Rima. Again, if you come Continue, to education, if, because of the MP currently, we have a secondary school at Batiano. In terms of health, you come to Kokrobite, we have the maternity. 
that our mothers are using. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so, so let's come here. Um, okay, my name is Mutala Aruna. Aruna. Please be there, be there, be there. Oh, okay. So um, he says I should ask you. I think it was uh, Ope. Eh? Is it Obey? Okay, so he says I should ask you um, which projects have been achieved by way of policies nationally by the previous government, that is under John Dramani Mahama, who also wants to come back as president, which has affected all Ghanaians, for which even Botiano English and Manfro as a constituency is, is benefiting, or the constituents are benefiting. And then whether you think you are experienced enough for legislative work in parliament. Thank you very, thank you very much. Uh, if I could answer this question first, I will start from Get Fund Project. Get, okay, the establishment of the Get Fund. Yeah, the Get Fund. Okay. The Get Fund Project is uh, an NDC project that all Ghanaians are benefiting from it. When we even talk about, uh, uh, we talk about uh, free SHS, it is very fundamental that everybody knows that we, as NDC, we started the, uh, we, we first started the, before they also came in. It is, it, it was even, it was, yes, it was inaugurated in the central region, 2015. And we said we are doing it free progressive. And they, are, they didn't agree with us. But later when they came to power, they started the free, uh, uh, progressive, free SHS. So these two things are basically NDC project that we started, and it is many, and it benefits everybody. We put up the polyclinic at Botiano. We have polyclinic at Kokrobiti, and when you even come to Botiano English Amafu, most of the basic schools were constructed by most, most of most of, are constructed by. By NBC, they spoke about they spoke they again spoke about secondary school. But let me let me remind them that, but I know English I'm for the the I'm for SSS is constructed by NBC and even Christian Methodists. They all know it is very true that those uh, those uh, secondary schools were constructed by NBC and those are the second choice to that we can boast of. No doubt, him cook. That he is claiming that what he has done for. You, are, you describe the school that we are seeing. Oh, it's as a ham cook. You heard them saying it. Hem, it's hem a ham cook. Hmm. All right. So I, I, if, I, I, you're done. So let uh, me also give you three minutes. So, uh, let me. Roland. The, the, the gentleman was talking about. Hello. The uh, gentleman Sanky. said some of the things I said are true. Some are not true. Not true. Okay. The one he's referring to as not true. I thank a living God that you are a witness. You are going to see it. I told you, Ghana National College in 1948 started from a bedroom of one person. Yet. Today, as I'm talking to you, check how many secondary schools, day schools as the kind of facility we have to begin Botiano Day Secondary School. The facilities you see here, if you can describe this as a kitchen coop, everybody's here is watching. I told you, he just said that they built a polyclinic at Kokrobite. He doesn't know the constituency. There's no polyclinic at Kokrobite. The health center at Kokrobite was built under President Kufo's time. 25 years ago, not a single block has been added until I became a member of parliament. I've provided a five bed maternity and three offices today in Kokrobite. So he doesn't know. They don't have a polyclinic at Kokrobite. He should go and check when the Kokrobite Health Center was constructed in this constituency. He will know it was done by an NGO in President Kufo's time, not another NDC time. He should go and check. Again, let me also talk about the road. I didn't say we've completed the road. I said the road is under construction. As you drive through the road, you will see the storm drains been done today in Aplaku, not only this place, go to Babadogo, we've constructed a major storm drain and the road is being constructed today. The people in Babadogo, they know what I'm talking about. You see, this road that they are referring to, I've told you, 
I'll show you document. Two contractors has been awarded to complete this road project that I'm talking to this you about. This main road. What we have, sand has been, now Latrida has been taped on the road. Yes, coming, the road is under construction. So when people come here to say the things I'm saying are true or not true, thank God you've been taking round to see all this project ongoing. I'm a first-term MP. All these things I'm talking about have been done in three and a half years. Uh, Roland, for the first time as I speak to you, in September, when the National Premier League kick starts, yeah. in this constituency, we'll be the playing... The Premier League? Yes. Dreams FC has adopted the Tuba Astro Tef that I constructed. I was a chief executive of National Youth Authority. I've shared this with you before. Dreams Today, FC? Dreams FC has adopted the Tuba home. Accra House of Folk will be coming here. Kotoko will be coming here. And all the national team, for the first time in this constituency, will get to see a Premier League matches in this constituency. Thanks to me, thanks to the MPP. Roland, finally, go to, go to Mahem, go to Mahem in Galilea. It's one of the NDC strongholds in this constituency. All this Mahem, one, Mahem in Galilea. Galilea. I've delivered and built an ultra-modern community center for them in Mahem today. Ultra-modern community, community center, center go to Mahem, Mahem in Galilea. Mahem today. I built it today for them. They'll be holding meetings there. So, Roland, the development of this constituency cannot be done in four years. But the things I'm talking to you about, a total of about 40-something kilometers of roads, some completed, some under construction. I've delivered a new astroturf, I've delivered a new secondary school, I've delivered a maternity ward, I've delivered a specialized ward, I've delivered a library in here in Botiano. So for me, Roland, the job, it is the ordinary people on the street who know what I have done and what I continue to do, what I represent in this constituency. So for me, it is not about how much you shout, but it's about the deliverables on the ground. And it shall allow the good people of this constituency are going to reward all so of us. So you say what? The job, the ground. All right. Adams, Adams. Adams, Adams, Adams. Huh. Okay. Okay, my name is Mutala. I want to ask honorable. Uh -huh. uh, hello. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Akwasa, honorable mention of Akwasa. We have about 40,000 40, people living in Akwasa. About 40,000 people living in Akwasa. There is not a single, a single baby school in Akwasa. Not a single baby school in Akwasa. Not a single baby school in Akwasa. Honorable promise a government school for the people of Akwasa. Up to date, he hasn't de delivered. What did you find out from him? He said he has discovered, he is now working on it. We want to know how far with the project. Please start with me. All of us didn't hear you. Start again. No. What I'm saying is that I want to ask Honorable. We have about people in Akwasa don't have a single government school. And Honorable promised government school for them. Now, eight years now, we haven't seen anything. And he mentioned that he has started something. We want to see. And where? Which area does he have done that project? Thank you. I, I, I want to urge, I want to urge everybody here to keep quiet and listen to a question. I wanted to ask a question to Honorable MP. The first question goes, I wanted to ask Honorable MP. They are not listening. They are not listening. They are not listening. They are not listening to me. The host, can I talk? I wanted to ask 
question to Honorable MP. He said he has done a lot of road in this constituency. I wanted to ask him, a man from Junction to Top Town, is that road is there before he comes? From Galilea Junction, from Galilea Junction to Galilea itself, is that road there before he comes? I wanted to ask him. There is a, we build school. That's the Honorable Demoji. Build basic school at Tomava and clinic at Tomava. I wanted to ask him all those things are there before he comes. Secondly, thirdly, he, he, he started building just six, six room toilet at Tomava. He couldn't even finish. Four years now. I wanted to ask him, is that is true or not? I wanted to ask him. There is a road here, Chokome Junction to Chokome. The road. Which road? From where? There is a road, Chokome Junction. Chokome Junction. Chokome Junction. There is a gutter there. Brad Demoji has contracted. Before he left power, Alaji couldn't do anything about it. He also can't, he didn't do anything about it. I wanted to know whether he know about that road. They say, Botiano Johnson to Botiano, uh, Botiano, New Botiano Johnson to New Botiano. I wanted to tell him that that road was not constructed by him. It's real, real retention. You have done gutters and everything down before he came. So, when you go to Aplaku, Aplaku Block Factory, Block Factory to the top, that, that road has been built by Brad Demoji. I wanted to know what type of road. Does he contrast that in this constituency? Thank you. Roland. Wait. How do I know? Chobo! 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 Me be French. You have money you are a billionaire. But tell me if you have money you are. Me about security. Me about security. Can you quack at your lava? Gagbe a plaku. MPP 2016. Me, me the machine. Slow two on our slide. Go back, but you know my name. Immigration, police. On our slide. You are what you want to wear. What's your big fan board? You are to it. Never give any one for shit here. Never give one join your goat. Money by parliament. Next. She knew what to wear. Be a name. Got a cocobite. Hospital. On our slide. Never cut sword. Never. Can I hear for you? Yeah, I'm Yamusha. Me, I'm a coming yo, now my four year jam. Me, I'm a four, me, I am a shirt. Many she do what the more. Mami, and this be at Kaja, I'm a eight years. MPB, eight years. I'm a baba den. You are be a baby, I'm a face. You're a cost out stretcher. I'm a baby, you are be a me. Kaja, I'm a eight years. You are eight years. Nibby, I'm a face. You're a baby. Me, I'm a yo. What the fight? When you do slide, never what constitution. Everybody constitution say, "You must be a man." Not to shake it. Quality say, "Go for shit here." Say no more. What they don't want be slide here. Everybody feel you. What constitution? Twenty five million. What they don't want them. What constitution? Twenty five million. What they don't want them. On our slide, come and we. We are twenty 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 four. Seven December. On our slide, all the way.
Mi pesa ya mi mbisa sila ise. Oba ya okasa oye juma oye juma. Oni mi kuwetu kwa insu. Kuwet. Oni mi kuwetu kwa insu. Ye la la da situation. Ye ya ne fa ya sika. Aye juma. Aye juma. Ewa kuwet. Usha. Kuwet. I have my evidence here. Me your evidence, I feel you Kuwait. Kuwait, me your evidence, all the co evidence is here. Hey, we are many evidence and many not your mom. No more business lies, sir. On the Kuwait, on the Kuwait, the Akos war, Yala Lord Association, Yaya, the Yaya Koi, Bridge, beside the sir, Brianu, that's the first. That the first one before Kuwait, Anna. I will a how I walk Kuwait. Mumbi said the same thing. Hey, mommy. I have evidence by phone. All right. Okay. Okay. Now let's come here. Let's come here and wrap up the debate. Thank you very much. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. No more comments. We're done. All right. So. So now. I know uh, the two of you are very busy. You have to uh, keep going. Just wrap up for me in three minutes on some of the concerns, and then also maybe on, I have the commendations as well. On, unfortunately, then, the NDC organizer, he came to this place with his own questions. He was not listening to what I was saying. If he had listened to the things he said, he wouldn't say them. Let me also tell him that I've said in English, a man from a man from to be specific, it is the MPP that did the asphalt overlay in a man from. There had never been asphalt overlay in a man from until Leonardo became president, and we are in government today. Let me also say that I'm throwing an invitation to my colleague for us to have a studio debate. You are ready for a studio debate a between studio the debate two of you, between the two of us, so that it will be without all this noise so that we can articulate the issues community by community and we see the issues so that our people who have a full benefit of who should lead this community. So I throw to him, let him accept the challenge, let general media invite the two of us, let's go to the studio and deal with the issues without all the noise here we are seeing today. Thank you. Thank you. So as you wrap up, what, what is your vision for the constituency and then uh, how do you think he could have better developed the constituency as an MP? Thank you very much. Uh, to my surprise, I, a question works out about $1 million per constituency. And from per our, estimate, our estimation, we should be having $8 million as at now. And somebody asks, what has he used that $8 million to do? But to my surprise, that question has not been answered. I know that $8 million has been given. But for all we know, it has been deposited in one person's account. Somebody was here to talk about security. That clearly shows us that when the security position comes, they share it among themselves. Because he clearly stated that a slot, two slots, was given to him by Sly. I sitting here never had a slot. But how come that an MPP person had two slots? Does it mean that the slots were two shared? Two slots of what? Two slots of is that security positions. Military, when they were, rec when they were doing the recruitment, Positions were given to them. They were given slots, and he was saying he was here to tell us that he was given two slots. I believe you heard about him, and that slot he even gave it to some people. None of us had any of the slot. Does it mean that the slots were given to them and they were sharing it among themselves? That show you how. That show clearly that they are not interested in the masses. That clearly tells us that they are not interested in the masses, but they are interested among few of them who are NDC MPP affiliates. But that one, we cannot control or we cannot live in a society with that kind of habit. The, the, my people, the Tana English and Manfro, they have lost hope, completely low hope. I'm here to tell them that they shouldn't worry, they have gotten a man who is going to come to instill hope. 
bring back hope to them. I have a lot of things that I will do. All the projects that they abandoned. For example, there's a Tokome Road to Tokome Township. The uh, uh, Apraku SS system scratching blocks that was abandoned. OCA Road that uh, six, six block classroom that was also abandoned. I'm coming to continue all those things. When NDC was in power, this coastal stretch, we have cost this coastal stretch, we had the coastal development project that people were working. They were working to have to get something to work so that their hands would go into their mouth. Today, MPP came to power and they have abolished everything. Today, we should ask them that how many people are there working. Creating job for the people is paramount to me. And when I come, I'm coming to, to help them. We are coming to restore that people in this stretch of Botana in the are going to get something to do so that they will also feed themselves and their wives, their husbands and their wives. When we come, it is, it is very true. It is very true because we don't have good leaders in Botano English Amanfo. Totally we have been neglected. But I'm still telling them that they shouldn't lose hope. When NDC come back to power, what we initiated, what we started, and they have abandoned, we are coming to what? Start it again and continue to it. Botano English Amanfo, especially the coastal stretch, we have we have a lot of jobs that we do at the coastal area. When they vote me into power, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make sure that I'm going to drag or create where they be first landing the canoe, a place for the canoe to land. When it comes, our major one, our major problem is our boundary with uh, Central Region, Greater Accra and Central Region. It is one of our important problems. But today, let's ask our MP what he has he done about it. When you go to Lama right now, you will see a police station, even in Lama, and that police station belongs to Central Region, which of course is disturbing. It's disturbing the people of Botano in which I'm out to. That is why, that is why, that is why, that is why we are there to lobby. We are going to lobby to, for it that it should be work, it should be done for them. So, the job, the youth, the youth, the youth. NBC is bringing 24 hour economy so that the youth will get something to do. The youth who are struggling today, they are perceived to be lazy people. They are not lazy. God never created anybody to be lazy. But because there's no job for them, in fact, the job that we created, as I've already instated, the job that we created, the coastal development job that employed more than 400 people. Today you ask, where are those people? They are all sitting at home. When it comes to premise work, they said that uh, when security uh, give it to their companies, they give it to their people. The same way, premise, they have given it to their party agents. When we come, when we come and this is going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that it got right for people. Everybody, they got Roland, they're talking about job creation. In they got the fishing, the they got the fishing. They had bomb the motors that they made. use, which is now before then they were. Constituency. Sunda has employed over When he was talking, I was not talking. When he was talking, I was not talking. Please, man, if you were talking, you were not talking. to keep quiet. If you could ask him to keep quiet, and if you allow him to talk, then you should have to allow me to talk again. Because when he was talking, I was quiet here. Rap I'm telling them what when I come, I will do for them. I will make sure the peace we put will be distributed evenly. It will be given to the chiefs who will supervise so that everybody will get his or her share so that they can use that because that's the main thing that they use to go for fishing. And the Adwan Motor, when we were there, they were buying it less than 10,000. Today, it is being sold over 440,000 uh, and they cannot afford. But I'm assuring them that when NDC R comes and I'm elected to be right. the member of parliament. No outboard motor is sold for 400,000 in this country. You may not know. You may not know. You don't have the fact. You may not know. You may not know. You don't know. That's what I'm telling you. You don't know. If you know, you come and sit here and speak. You are speaking. People are struggling. You don't know. He doesn't know what is 400,000. He doesn't know what is 400,000.
All right, thank you very much. 400,000. Thank you. It is 400,000. It is 400,000. It doesn't know 400,000. It says 400,000. 400,000. 400,000. 400,000. Again, you should know that the premix committee, premix committee is in law, and MP cannot come and change. The status of the premier's committee is in law to say it is to never the true. What is he saying? It is not, that is the reason why we are MPs. That, the that is the reason why we want to lead the people. So the when the people are the suffering, it is, so it is up to us to intervene. So it is up to us to come to the two of you. That's what you said. That's what you said. MPs don't do this. That's what you said. What does they do? What do I do? To the extent that they are even saying, the two of them say they even want a studio debate. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. We are here thank you. to thank help you. our people. Please, we need a change. We need a change. And I'm to you. It's a change. I will not come and disappoint you. When you let me, when you call me, you will get me. I will give you all the due respect that you have. You all right. And give due respect. I will so we'll the debate. To you. Please. It is a promise that I'm giving you. And what do you want from MP? What do you want from MP? MP who will respect you. Now, No, so, no. All right. So wait. Uh, please, I give you two minutes. You wanted to say something. Yes. You wanted to say something. Yes. Two minutes. Yes. Um, why, why do you think your candidate is a candidate that should be voted for? Hello. For two minutes. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Let, they, should, they should behave. They should behave. The issue is two minutes. I understand. My policy is very simple. My candidate is an MPP candidate. And when I go around, I always do the comparison. I ask, I'm a woman, I'm a mother. So most of the times I talk to my women. I ask them that, NDC, Jerry John Rawlings, Atta Mills and uh, 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 what's it, Mahama, it's 27 years. Kufuo and also Ekufuado, it's 15 years. But the issue is, let's ask ourselves, in my, in my 15 years, why? I'm, a, I'm expecting that while the women are talking, they'll be quiet. My question is, in their, yes, 27, we can hear. in their 27 years, what did we get? Nothing. But in our 15 years, that is when they had their health insurance. That is where they had their free feeding fee. That is where they had their free education. So in 15 years, with three policies in the whole nation. But now, what do they have out of the 27 years? I don't want to talk about my candidate because I believe that it's high time, it's high time, anyone who does the good work to be promoted. What this man is doing, we may think he has stayed in power for eight years, but it's just for three and a half years. He has done a lot and he deserves another term. We thank you. Do you allow you to tell us something about the eight billion dollars? What he has done, the eight, what he has used the eight thousand dollars to do? It's not finished. We should, have, we should have allowed you to tell us something about the eight million. You have the mic. Okay, Roland, we are pleased that you are here today, and then I will use this opportunity to say that you have two four years of slice collapse economy. We are seeing nothing here in Botiano as in the women. But today, John Dramani Mahama is giving us a female vice president, which tells you that the female students in this country has a future. And also, we are telling our Ghanaians that today, if you are a woman, you should be happy with the Women's Development Bank, which is coming to us from Botiano English Yamafo. So Sly doesn't have anything doing in this constituency anymore. For you in this constituency, you should know that we have been from full for four years. So we have to vote against life and leave for him to leave this constituency. Hey, Thank hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey, she, you can hey, see how hey, 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 she, hey, she, so desperate today that. up today.
today's edition of Community Manifesto. Back to the studio. We'll bring you to another event. Thank you.